Yo, this is Buckshot, the BDI, represent Duck Down. You checking out G4, Freestyle 101. Check this out, man. I'm about to go in the booth and spit the hard, just off the top, off the bottom, off the middle bar right now. So y'all make sure y'all keep your eyes open. G4, booyah! Duck down, duck, took it, took it, duck down. Here we go now, C4 to your door, no beef, no more. Uh, what? Nah. G4 to your door, no beef, no I got my mind on my money, my money on my mind No joke, but sometimes I feel funny on my grind Look, people dying in this all of a shine Everybody wanna make beats, everybody is rhyming But I'm in a whole of a place So you can follow my lead, cause I know of a place Where we can get high and get by with the minimum funds But it's the millions in the millennium Chameleon when I see these riding dirty Wanna chase BD, cause my eyes is burning be hurting me in the hip hop cop community. They form me love like the shit I drop is to ruin me. But to no avail, my flow is for real. I make the blind men see when they notice the scales. I'm like Halo 3 when I show up the skills. Stop fronting me, I know I'm for real. Look, old dude, but I'm not an old school. I'm kind of young in the physical. For some, it's a miracle. Um, yeah, far from dumb, I'm actually smart. While I wrap up a meeting, you can rap in the park. Look, I'm a fast car, a NASCAR. Buck 80, buck shot hopping in the Mercedes. She's crazy, cause she wanna mess with me. What now? Buck representing duck down like uh Fire in the hole, explode. Next episode like Dre Buck shots like hey I remember I actually grew up on Run DMC. And I grew up on the Fat Boys, and I grew up on hip hop, you know, from that era. So I was uh, maybe in my early, early, early teens, maybe 13 or something like that. And um, I used to freestyle with a friend of mine in the hallway. We used to bang on the on the, uh, the the walls, and we used to freestyle in the hallways. And then we took it to the lunchroom in school. I always knew that I had to pay dues, so I would go to different shows, different clubs, and just asking for a shot to do whatever I did. If there was a competition, I was in. It was a talent show, I was in it. And I actually didn't win half of the talent shows, you know what I'm saying? But I always got a chance to perform. So for me, that was a bigger picture. Just being able to get in front of the crowd and do what I like to do and get a chance to perform, it was a real big thing for me. From there, um, it was pretty much just dancing in the crowd. I was a dancer as well. So I kind of started off with the universal fundamentals of hip-hop. And then I said, you know what? Special Ed... Uh, changed my life, I remember specifically. Uh, this was before I met him, I never I had no deal. But Special Ed kind of came out with a rhyme that made me go, all right, young people can't rhyme. Because before that, I, I thought you had to be like in your 20s, and you know, you had to wait till you was an adult. He was in high school. I never ever seen a, a rapper in high school. I never ever seen a rapper still, not only in high school, but surrounded by high school atmosphere. He had his high school on his cover. He had high school kids in the back of the album cover. So before then, it was Grandmaster Flash. It was Run DMC. It was Fur Furious Five. It was yeah, African Bombada. These are all older dudes. So I felt like when you get older, instead of working, this is what you could have done. You'd be an MC or a rapper or whatever. But Sir Chalet came out and said, no, this is actually something you can take charge of whenever you're ready. And that sparked a revolution in me because I came out when I was 17 with Who Got the Props. So I always was influenced in rapping um, from, 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 from the streets, from freestyling. Today, freestyle means more than just spit a rhyme that you wrote. Yesterday, freestyle meant to really come with the top of your head. I'm in front of a camera. I know Jamie the damage you. If you give me a, something, I know how to handle you. I got a sweater on. I look better on TV. You know, this is what made MC is such the goo, the thing that it was, because you had to, you know, not only be good at that, but the better you were at that, people liked it. I know some people who can't even go to the top of their head for more than five minutes, you know, without, you know, ha ha ha, joking or feeling embarrassed or whatever, but people that can just go on and on and on with freestyling, it's a skill. And if you really notice, the majority of the people who freestyle consider themselves what we call 
below radar, backpack, whatever you want to call it. A lot of those people, common sense, most dev talent, probably about shot. These are all people who freestyle on top of that. A lot of rappers don't do that. Though. Well, mostly the mainstream rappers do not do that because it serves them no purpose. For us, it's just a form of entertainment that we grew up and we like and we keep that alive. And I think that's the reason why people will start calling them lyricists, MC purists, backpack, or whatever. But Buckshot represents the biggie almost sense of that, the, the underworld sense of the backpacker. Look, you might have heard some records that I put out, you might have heard some albums that I put out, but those are me at work, conditionally doing things that I know can go to certain areas. Here's what I'm just going for broke, and you get to see whatever type of skills that I have not held back by, you know, a song, a title, radio, a DJ personality. It's like now you get to see the rapper really go in.